We all know what a crucial battleground uh, District 19 really is, and that's why I'm very uh, excited to say let's meet our next Democratic Congressman from the 19th, Mr. Antonio Delgado. Oh, it's bright. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Paul, Michelle, Hudson Valley Votes. It is bright on this stage. <laughs> uh, thank you. I love you. I love all of you, and that is the word I would like to focus on. So thank you for saying that. Love, there's a lot of ugliness out there right now, a lot of darkness, a lot of cruelty percolating uh, all throughout this country. And we have an opportunity, and it's time to own this opportunity. It is time. We have an opportunity to remember who we are to be firm, forget the politics for a second, be firm in our moral compass. I'm reminded every day I wake up and I look at my little boys' faces, twins, and I did say boys, and they're a lot, but every day, <laughs> every day they remind me that it's deeper, so much deeper than politics. Because it's about what we put in our young children from day one. And, and what they have to grow up seeing. And who their models are. And who they can believe in. And I don't tell my kids growing up at five years old, be a Democrat or Republican. I tell my little kids, love your neighbor. Be kind. Don't bully. Be fair. And there's no way in this great country of ours that we are going to be able to solve crisis like the health care crisis or the climate change crisis or wage stagnation or income inequality. Things that are the defining issues of our day if we cannot have civil discourse, if we cannot engage. Now, I'll tell you something, I put a lot of faith in this. I put a lot of faith in humanity. I put a lot of faith in you. I put a lot of faith in upstate, because I'm from here. And I know what this place is about. And I know what it put inside me. And I know that a little black boy growing up in Schenectady cutting coupons with his mom and his dad on Saturday, who ends up going to Oxford on a Rhodes Scholarship, that story wouldn't have happened. That story wouldn't have happened if this is the country we are today. We're so much better. We are so much better than this. And I can tell you I know that because everywhere I go across this district, all 11 counties, and for those who don't know, it's a big district. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking 11 counties. We're talking Connecticut and Rhode Island combined. And I'm not, that's not a joke, that's real. Almost 8,000 square miles. It is majestic, it is beautiful. It is rural, and the quality of life is pure, and the people are too. And when you walk up to them, and you show that you care, and that you love them, and that you want to fight for their families, and that you're not bought and paid for by outside interests, that you actually really care about their well-being. <laughs> they want to believe in that, and they ought to be able to believe in that in America. We can't call ourselves the land of the free and the home of the brave, the beacon of hope and democracy, and not act like it, and not be true to who we are. Now, I come bearing good news. We're going to win.
We're going to win because we're on the right side of history here. We're on the right side. Now, I've traveled, like I said, everywhere. I'm going to bring this to a close. I can keep going on and on. But I've traveled everywhere across this district. And no matter how red the town, no matter how blue, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. We're getting packed houses, town hall after town hall. And by the way, yes, we're doing one in every county, unlike the current congressman. We're going everywhere. And people, they say thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for listening. Thank you for caring. And that's what we need to restore. And I'm telling you, I'm blessed. And I count my blessings. Because every day I get to wake up, and this is my job. My job is to meet you, is to engage with you, is to feel that passion in every corner of this district. And I couldn't have picked a better time to throw my weight and my wife's weight, because she's right with me, Lacey, and our family's weight. <laughs> all the way in. And if you don't know, let me tell you something. We are all the way in, every bit. I will always be straight with you. I will always be accountable to you at every turn. And I'm giving you every fiber in my bone. And when we win this thing, I'm going to tell you something. It's not going to change. We're only going to dig in deeper. We're only going to keep going. So as we close out these 18 days, I'm sorry, 17 days. As we close these 17 days out, I have one request. Just one. Really own it. This is uh, a very important time. We all get it. Whatever fear you have, whatever anxiety you feel, whatever cynicism, skepticism, dispirit, put that to bed. Let that go. And lean into your hope. Lean into your love. Lean into your strength. Lean into your community. Be brave. And believe in our power. And let's win this thing. Let's go. Antonio Delgado.